This program is intended for mature audiences and may contain some material that is not suitable for everyone, including violence, coarse language, and unfiltered opinions. We do not endorse the views of those we report on. Listen, I listen, I have to tell y'all a story. Miss Parker had me by the balls. I was in it. She's telling us stuff and things going on. My mind is blown. I'm so confused. Also, I don't I'd listen. like to um I'd like to just go ahead and inform everybody. My name is Toaster now. Um, and she has a I, penis. <laughs> yes, I am a toaster. I identify as a toaster and I would just respect everyone if they could just respect me and my new life, okay? So I am That's toaster. Fun. Thank okay, you. can you please I've explain you, to the chat, if you don't mind, yes. uh, Miss Toaster, um, yes. what happened earlier on G-Man's stream? Because <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> so, so earlier today, what had happened was I was not minding my business. And we were in Discord and I was playing Sims. <laughs> and then I found out that G-Man was live. So I was like, ooh, I'm going to go over there and see what G-Man's doing. And then I found out that Vaughn was in there. Vecca was in there. Fucking Nick Bravo was in there. G-Man was in there. Sabella Shepard was in there. Her husband was in there. Like, it was crazy. Like, I'm talking about, it was just, it was a room of fuckery. So I watched for like five minutes. And then um, everybody was talking to Vaughn about like slavery because Vaughn was putting on, of course, a TED talk about how, you know, slavery was a thing and how black people really didn't have it that bad. Plus, black people never would have been great by their slave owners because they were pretty much toasters. And I was like, what? So I get up in the chat and I, I jump in and I'm talking to him and then I lose my shit and I can't really say nothing because, you know, G-Man don't let you cuss. So I just dipped after a minute, but they're still over there. And Vaughn and um, Vaughn and fucking Nick Bravo got into an argument about slavery, yo. Like it was the wildest thing ever I ever saw in my life. Two old racist white dudes in a room with like four black people yelling about what slavery was <laughs> homie like it was it was wow i never this this has been the craziest weekend and then and then shani showed her butt cheeks lost her channel rev gets on crying they're I about to you know die. yeah they're doing the we're never gonna do this by crew world fucking thing you know mm -hmm. and then and then what the other night I got sexually assaulted. Well, I can't say that. I got virtually sexually assaulted by Nick Bravo when he yeah. smelled ambrosia. Okay. That was a lot. It was so that was the best. <laughs> that was the best. Oh my God. I'm, I'm so glad I was there so for much. that. There's yes, been too much. Sure. I'm just gonna tell all y'all need to y'all need to sit the fuck down. I can't. <laughs> 
all y'all need to sit down. It's too much. I don't. I just. Okay. Uh, good evening, chat. <laughs> I see Jilly. I see. I see. I see trash. Oh, oh. Listen, the man, the myth, the legend himself, Mimosa J. <laughs> Mimosa. All of the folks. Oh, listen. I don't. This, this is gross and Ron. So Ron of you. <laughs> Ban him. Put him in timeout. Him out. Can't. <laughs> you can time him out if you're on the uh, Maidens account. The YouTube. Oh, I can. Yeah, you can oh, time him out. I, yeah. D I dare I be mean? Um. <laughs> so yeah, it's been it's been a, a wild hey. wild couple days, y'all. Hey, it's Reaper. It's a oh, Reaper. Oh. Hey, hey, Reaper. So, you know, Miss Parker's never minding her business, but it's always a good time. No. Um, <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm watching a stream right now. Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, all right. Well, uh, I'm not sure if Anna's going to join us a little bit later, but I think Anna's do, asleep. That's all right. That's OK. <laughs> Somehow I'll manage to run the show and not completely screw it up. But we'll see. So I thought. We would start this evening with a little bit of a feel-good moment. You know what I'm saying? I thought Let's we could all it. use a little bit of a laugh. <laughs> oh, God. oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. Hey, Nova, how does it feel to look at a real woman? How does, <laughs> it, how does it feel? Huh? She's all the woman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, if a mod could drop that's Lindsay with the Nays channel in the chat, not like she needs our help or endorsement, but I just love her edits. So we're gonna watch a free spirit living her best life. Yes. Good evening. <laughs> yeah. He's insane. Look at those edges. They're amazing. Look at her. <laughs> you can't even tell that's a wig. It's just a oh, flawless victory. <laughs> you lying ass. Yeah, so. What? what? <laughs> tell you. I said, now what the hell going oh, on? I like that one. I got something to tell you. She sounded like Bernie Mac for a second. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Life of a Bernie Mac. Yeah. I got things going on. <laughs> yeah, she sounded like Bernie Mac. That's, that's my favorite. favorite. <laughs> I no, like she looks so her. good here. She this, looks so pretty. Yeah. I this look is this giving is me X Man. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna whoop your ass vibes. You know, and I just in, need in, her. Her. in an absolute just, wonderful way. I just need her to stick the landing with the edges. They're great wigs. We just That's gotta true. stick the landing. Okay. God damn, I'm in the struggle. Yes, you are. God damn, I'm in the struggle. Every time I see that, I'm like, why? I okay. think of it, it reminds me of one of those lawyers who comes on at like three o'clock in the morning and they're like, were you just in an accident? And then this bitch pops up. You know, I'm in a struggle right now. And like the like, commercials oh that would come yeah. on with like sex with Suze or whatever that yeah. sex. Yeah. Like, were you just in a car accident? Call George Lopez at Cinco, 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 Cinco. Cinco. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Is my blood pressure high? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> That's my favorite. <laughs> ah, YouTuber. Yes, I live for it. Chef, goddamn, please. <laughs> Why? I love it. I love it. Do, do, I'm not wait, wait, wait. It, I know. Mask. I don't think Yado's here, but this is this is my favorite part. Looks spooky. Oh yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Titties. <laughs> Who doesn't like titties? <sighs> True. Who doesn't like titties? Who doesn't like titties? Your face. I just. I need to say this. Okay. I have a very annoying cackle when I laugh. I have a very expressive face. This is no hate towards Callie. I just think these edits are fantastic. Yeah, shade no shade. We are yeah. going to laugh at you. It yeah. doesn't mean we don't like you because I laugh at Nova. Don't nobody like that effort. Mango laughs, laughs at me all the time. 
I really want people to take example. Like if I'm not talking shit about you, it's probably because I don't like you. Okay. The only people I talk shit about are people I take time to care about. Okay. Because I got to give a shit enough to know something about you to even think about talking shit. Like if I didn't love Nova, how would I be able to roast her about her not edges? You know what I mean? Like if I didn't love her, you know? Her beautiful. fat ass face. Don't nobody like that bitch. Uh, can we kick her off the stream? This is so no. <laughs> I love when she does a little mouth. Face. Yeah, a little, little mouth thing is hilarious. Because <laughs> how can you guys do that? I can't do it that fast. What did I do? What did I do? What's the problem? Oh. I'm just saying. Yeah, oh, I can oh, say it real fast. It's girl. fine. Yeah, I'm a girl. <laughs> Not my girl. Southside Parker. <laughs> I can't say anything gangster though. Like when you make me say gangster stuff, it always just comes out like a cartoon character. Yeah, when well, you say you're gonna have to catch, do you say you're gonna have yeah, to catch? Yeah, you want you want to catch hands? these hands? <laughs> what? <laughs> You sound like <laughs> nobody takes me seriously. Like you're asking a question. <laughs> <laughs> the inflection is not. Do you want to catch? Like, do you really want to? Do you want to catch these hands? <laughs> yes, yes. PGTV, don't yell at me. Don't appreciate this. I'm gonna tell you. Hey, <laughs> all right. Uh... Okay, I have a question. I'm not. I don't do eyelashes because I'm lazy. How does she not realize that the inner corner is not sticking correctly? That would drive me insane. I have no idea. I think it's because it's scary. You've never tried to put oh. them shits on. You ever glue your eyelash on no, your I've other eyelash? I've tried, and I can't stand the feeling of fake eyelashes I, on No, I head. accidentally glued my eye shut is what I'm saying. <gasps> and it's, you can oh, glue no. Your, no. Yeah. No. Yeah, you, you glue your oh, fucking no. eye shut. It's hilarious, but it's terrifying because you think you're blind. <laughs> And that might be why she don't put the corners on because that's where you be gluing your eye together. Be, oh, oh my god. Shit. Gert is good. <laughs> Gert is good. Gert is good. Wait, 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 wait. Go back. Go tap that back. Ooh. I would say. Me too, girl. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I like pink on her too. Pink looks good on her. Oh, yeah, the pink, the pink yeah, she is real pretty. Green. Yeah. <laughs> she looks good in all the colors. Yeah. She has a nice skin tone. She could pull off a whole bunch of colors. Yeah. That's why I don't like her. Deep down, it's just because I'm jealous. I want ass like Callie. You know what I mean? Like, I wish. Okay. I'm just trying to be honest because I be hating don't on her so much. You know, and I just, don't I wish I had an ass like, like that. that. I do be, and it, it sucks because. I need to do better when I get older. So I'm going to make my New Year's resolution is to stop hating on Callie's ass so much. And, <laughs> you know, that's oh that's my, my New Year's resolution. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. All right. Hey, Mango, <laughs> do do the thin while I queue up the next thing. Oh, okay. So. Fuck you, y'all. Security I do monitor, Lizard, and I are still doing... Our fundraiser for indigenous persons. We have 10 more days. We are ending it on the 31st. So you click the link, you donate to one of the organizations there. They are all direct donation links. Uh, you take a screenshot of your receipt. You black out your personal information because we don't care what your name is. We just want to know the organization and the dollar amount you spent. You send it to postaliguana at gmail.com. If we reach the $2,000 goal by the 31st, then Lizard and I will be eating a Cobes chimichanga burger. For every $150 oh. donated at one time to one of those organizations, we will eat an egg hard boiled in code red Mountain Dew. We currently owe four what? eggs. We did not put a cap on that. We fucked ourselves. So there you go. Do the theme. We love you. Um, Miss Parker, I think Yada I has a bone to pick with you. Yeah, I went ahead and changed, changed it. it. Look, look. Yeah, I changed yeah, it. it. Yeah. There you go. Problem yeah. solved. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, dear. All right. Um... <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Jesus <laughs> Lord. I don't, I don't even, I don't even know. Uh, all right. Well, <clears throat> this is going to be another, hopefully this works. This is going to be another great edit from uh, our, our girl. Oh, no. Oh, no. So, so this is an, this is an edit, but we, we have stumbled upon a new character in the foodieverse. Oh, yeah. Now like you're gonna it. see characters you recognize, but this woman is called Little Mama, <laughs> not to be confused with Yo Mama. <laughs> Yo Mama. Uh, okay. Not my mama. Uh, so, okay. Are you ready for this? I don't think you're ready. Hopefully this works. Yay. At the end of the day, I don't have to be involved in Gore, in gore World. Everyone else has to revolve around me like I'm a plant. What? Those are what is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> okay, I want you. I want you I to take to. this in. There's there's wood paneling. Yep. There's yep. a tapestry. Love it. And we got lawn titties. And we got lawn. Oh. Listen, those are some lawn titties. That's a solid <laughs> D cup hen in there. Okay, <laughs> Don't I understand she out in next attic oh, <laughs> like okay so apparently we someone scared little mama off because she was <laughs> oh, doing she, reaction oh, no. she was doing reactions and then a lot of people like came for her and just like you know she erased her channel port then and she, well no apparently she's gonna be doing mukbangs now oh, oh that's, that's not I any also, better i will okay. also learn from this lady that she does she's she meant mukbangs but she said Butt bangs. And oh, I was like, that that sounds, sounds that's like a, a different website. Or no. <laughs> that's that a different sounds website. Awesome. <laughs> that sounds great. Buttbangs.com. Um, I mean, that's kind of, yeah. 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 Okay. All right. You want to make fun of my way and call me a planet? Literally, I am. You're welcome. You're all. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Yo, no. somebody on Twitter, they said she looked like Hatch your Face from Crybaby. <gasps> and I swear that's exactly no. what I was thinking. She does. Oh, no, she Cry does. Baby. Uh, uh, oh, no. Uh, All she uh, has to do is curl her lip up a little bit. Ain't that a thought about it? Okay, and in her defense, in her defense, uh -huh. the actress who plays Hatchet Face is a very attractive woman. So maybe if this lady <laughs> just kind of yeah. put on a different face. Oh, look at you. That's that's a nice light at the end of the tunnel argument. Yeah. All she got to do is like put on a different face. Yeah, just put on a different face. Like stop <laughs> doing that with your chin <laughs> for one. And like oh, definitely put a bra on because that. Just get a those, new face and you'll be fine. <laughs> Holy shit. I can't look at the titties on the fupa though. Like that. I've seen dudes at the bar who look like that. She looks like a trucker, yo. What the fuck? What are you? What is this? Why is this? Yeah, you need to not be online. That's not a teddy. That that's wrong. That's a crime. This is a crime. <gasps> she does look like the slut from the heart she holler. Ooh. What is that? Oh, it's a show that was on Adult Swim. It was one of their little like fifteen minute segment no. shows. No, she oh. looks like Randy from Trailer Park. Oh my God! <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh no! She looks like Randy with a shirt on. Oh no! Why, Randy? <laughs> this is why, and this is why she's gone. <laughs> hey, hey Mango, what? remember when you and I talked a couple episodes ago about how we could watch thirty seconds of a sh of a freaking video and talk for twenty minutes? <laughs> really? Somebody call Mr. Yeah, Lady and get Randy up out of here. I'm not even Mr. Leahy. Yeah, <laughs> Randy out here making a fool of himself. You don't like this? So I get to do my own content and do whatever I want. Yes, right? she does. No, Kristen Shaw cool. was the second slut trash. The first slut was not Kristen Shaw. <clears throat> oh, Jesus. Ooh, even the way she's lighting that cigarette tells you she is a couple of <laughs> bottles of wine in. You are drunk as shit. That's all you need to know, right? <laughs> yeah, you, that tells me everything. You are drunk as fuck lighting a cigarette like that, baby. <laughs> baby. As a special type of person. Person. Oh, goodness. Oh, look. <laughs> she is hell. Is that fried chicken? 
That looks like chicken and curry chick and curry rice. And that curry should look rice, good. Yeah. 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 yeah, I know. I'm always more hungry than you. <laughs> She said, I'm always more hungry than you. <laughs> he just laughed. Mm. Look at this face. <laughs> She's fucking adorable. I swear to God, she looks like a toy. Oh, no. She's like a grown Yato. cabbage patch doll. I love Yato. it. Listen, here's, here's the hilariousness, okay? Yato won't check my Discord messages, but Damn, now he's going to tell me to check my hey. messages. You're you're known for sending foodies I booty don't... to people. We don't trust your messages. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm telling you when that ass is Fitz messages. Oh God, Yada, what is this? I I'm scared. Oh dear God. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold up. Wait a minute. <sighs> I'm terrified of this image. Okay. Whoop. She looks like a toy, man. <laughs> she, she does. does. Like one of those weeble wobbles. Oh, there see, you go. why'd you do Amy Sedaris like that? Because I say, that's the actress who or plays Kristen this, Shaw. Uh, why'd you do Kristen, Kristen Shaw, Shaw like that? Because Amy Sedaris is the one that she looks like. She looks like Amy Sedaris. <laughs> Jesus, y'all. What are you the hell? Y'all know that, right? Yeah. Okay. As long as y'all know that's that, that's what we're driving. Oh yeah, going straight to straight to hell. Okay. All right. Well, that was fun. Thanks, Yada, for that. <laughs> I like yeah, how Yada yelled at you that you assault him with fat girl titties. I do. <sighs> I um. <laughs> that's what I, Lizzo uh... does with her black ladies. <clears throat> assault people with titties. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. <laughs> I didn't even Weasels listen. can't drive. No, they cannot. No. <laughs> I'm not a huge orange fan, honestly. <laughs> oh, there it comes. Look at all this. This place is called the Orange Julep, by the way. Look at her, guys. Okay, no, I better not. Okay. Here's yeah. Uh -huh. Looks great. Nice and slim. Uh -huh. Fit. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Poor Pete. Riveting Left content. I've never heard of leftover crack. What? He said, I've never heard of leftover crack. Me either. <laughs> That's true. Just like you ain't, I ain't got no spare cigarettes. I, I've oh. never heard, I don't have spare cigarettes. Yeah, they never well, gave me an extra or a spare. So, did you hear though that this person uh, may or may not have been doing substances on a stream? Recently? I saw the video. Not that I, I hear, I saw pipe. him smoking crack. That shit was yeah. hilarious. Yeah. yeah. That shit was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> But excuse you, I have a question because I'm not um, a devil's lettuce connoisseur. Is there a weed oil you put in a pipe like that? <laughs> I, I um, <clears throat> as the as the residential pothead on the stream, I have consumed many a THC substances, edibles, mm -hmm. oils, uh -huh. uh, sugars, all the good stuff. Um, I have never seen anybody smoke weed out of a crack pipe. Okay, great. Yeah, I no. just want to make sure, you know, I don't know those things. That's why I like to ask. <laughs> yeah. I ain't never seen oh. nobody put weed oil in a meth pipe and say, you know what I'm going to do today? <laughs> like, yeah. I've not, never not seen that, that either. That's oil. not a thing. I've never seen that shit. Not that's, that's not even how you would use the oil. So mm. it's it, that's not how you would do it. So it's, it all of that don't make no sense. Well, the way, he, the way he tipped it, it would have come out, right? If it was an actual oil. It, like he's it a base head. He rolled it just like a base head rolls it. We all watched Intervention. Intervention showed us exactly what a meth pipe looks like and how you use it. We all watched it and we saw what he did. Ain't nobody brand new. We're grown. He can say what he want. He <laughs> all, yeah, <laughs> Yada, was, Yada was right. Uh, he, yeah. Was, oh, yeah. he was to using a meth pipe. Yeah, it's a meth pipe. It's a little Not ball. A it, has pipe. That, yeah. it has that little globe at the bottom. Yeah, it's got the globe. Yeah. Yeah, like we all know what that looks like. Uh, 
the most easiest thing to do like this. Like this, then. <laughs> what is he doing? He's got nunchucks. I hope he blessed himself <laughs> in the face. The you know, That's the best like, part. Nunchuck skills. Girls only want boyfriends who have great skills. <laughs> yeah. Oh, get him. <laughs> anyway, I just want to say one thing about like the whole meth meth type thing. Like, I honestly I find it so funny that Dudu will like literally <laughs> after we after we see like what what are we jealous of exactly? Like, I'm gonna go back to that. Jealous that I don't that I'm not with a meth <laughs> meth head. Like, are you serious? And uh, mm. by the way, Dudu, rest in peace, uh, your kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like yeah, yeah. Oh, if you also, if you guys did not know, um, I think it was on like their like their first date, the quote unquote date. Um, mm. <clears throat> Chantal and that guy, um, apparently, like she picked up a used meth pipe off of the floor and smoked it. So, oh yeah, she's oh, like, that's yeah. great. Oh, that's how you do it. <laughs> That's how you live your best life, folks. There you go. <clears throat> it's totally fine. All right. So, did y'all hear, which everyone has heard, this is nothing now. Did y'all hear that Shani lost her Twitch? Yes. Yes. Not only did she lose her Twitch, but she lost her Twitch because she flashed some thins. Oh, now yes. I've heard different versions. Did she flash her butt? Is that what happened? It was okay. an accident. It was an accident. <clears throat> she was asleep on stream. Uh, she had the pillow between her legs and her back was to the camera. And, you know, she can't roll over without waking herself up because of how big she is. So instead her legs just move around a lot. And you could see like the very bottom part of her ass very briefly and then like she moved her leg and the pillow like shifted and was covering her ass so all you could see was like thigh meat and leg mm. Mm. and then uh carrie admitted on her stream that she reported shanny's twitch well this mm -hmm. is like a game of thrones moment i want shanny to know it was me <laughs> It was what <laughs> listen, the whole situation is weird. Y'all know the crackhead spy games be real on the internet. And yeah. oh yeah. We've been seeing this coming for a minute. So it's just like that y'all are dumb. Y'all are fucking dumb. All right. Look, fat photog. I, I have fat photog. All news for you. How do I <laughs> say goodbye? <laughs> so romantic. <laughs> <laughs> so sad. Oh, God. Really horrible, 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 devastating, world ending news for you. Shani got a notification. <laughs> Why is this so funny? She's in the yeah. on Twitch. He is not coming back. Ever. Oh, I'm devastated. Anywhere. Those eyes are very alarming to me. Shani's never going to come back to the internet again. We always guys. come back. So we we think in uh, like a week, a month. What we think? A couple days. Back. Oh, yeah. I was guessing no more than seven days. Yeah, like the I rain, you know? Days. You feel like them never stay away. Mm -hmm. Whoever took her down, I hope you're really happy. I hope you're really happy whoever took her down. She's giving up completely. Shani is giving up completely right now because somebody decided to be really not nice and flag it for nudity when there was no deliberate nudity and everybody oh. knows it. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. Her cries. Oh, man. Beautiful. Just... It's even more beautiful because you know that they're going to be back. Mm -hmm. yeah. nice They've done this she, so many times. Yeah. Didn't, I mean, didn't they, they said they appealed it. I'm not saying that they actually I mean, did. But. They probably did. They've appealed their stuff before. Like when Shani got the seven day ban, uh, when she was literally abusing Rev on stream, they appealed it. She got her channel back. 
Like, they, they've gone through the appeals process before. I would not be surprised if they are currently in the appeals process. But, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, Carrie wants to retcon so bad, her and her husband, that she never said it. Want to play that link that I just put in the private chat there, Fit? Yes. Mm. One moment, please. Thank you, Frank. Frank is amazing, and Frank captures a lot of things and stuff. Frank is a stealthy little son of a bitch. I'll be sleeping yeah. on him. Don't sleep on Frank. He'll catch you. <laughs> well, the funny thing is everyone thinks Frank is, like, the nice one, but, uh... That's why everybody... Shut up. People think the same thing about BGTV. He's <laughs> the worst one in the group. Don't... <laughs> he always gets away with everything. It's not fair. <laughs> Like, I get blamed for all sorts of shit. But all dog, you have you to be do. all over you get blamed for TV shit. Yeah, I could go into a chat and be, fuck you, Miss Parker. Oh, BGTV, we like you. What the fuck? All right, ready? I've Harry, been on the same you? panel with... Where BGTV and people hate me and not him, and I'm like, what? Exactly. <laughs> like y'all don't know? <laughs> He's fooling you. Took right her now. down. I hope you're really happy. I hope you're really happy. Whoever took her down. Hey Rev. Hey Rev. I'll. Go there, Nika. I don't hear one. I don't hear one. Okay. Making sure I didn't make that up. Okay. Go ahead and tell you, it was me. It was me. You can blame. So she's admitting it on her stream that it was her. <laughs> yeah, but her and her husband are saying that she never said it. Uh, well, that clip tells me otherwise, but okay. Also, isn't she the one that mostly um, stream snipes them? Yeah. <clears throat> How does she? Which makes no sense why she would want to take their channel down. It's it's counterintuitive to to cover someone and that be your main content. <clears throat> and then to, um, you know, try to get them taken down. It just doesn't, it wouldn't make any sense, you know? So I guess she's streaming right now? Who, mm -hmm. Carrie? Like, that's what BGTV is saying. Oh, that's great. Of course she is. I mean, there's tons of Shanny content to stream about. Don't get me wrong. There's shit tons. Shit tons. She'll be good for a while. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Let me see. Boop, boop. Okay. We're about to watch Nova's favorite person. <laughs> Hell yeah. No, we don't have taste. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> All right, let's do it. You ready? Mm -hmm. yes. We have okay. to, I guess. Hey, um, right wingers. <sighs> or anyone generally opposed to abortion. If you want to take the stance that abortion should be outlawed and be done with and and uh, yada, 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 and you think it's unacceptable in any situation, that's fine. It's a fine stance to take. No, it's not. However, I don't want to see a single fucking one of you. One of you. Bitching and crying and complaining. <clears throat> when we need to up the support. By the way, he's going to get louder, so just... Oh, okay. earbuds. Yeah, got you. Well, he's not loud oh, enough. Fair. I can't hear him. I can barely hear him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Schools, school lunch programs, school breakfast programs, yada, yada, yada. And I also want to see you right there on the front fucking lines when a prison executes someone. Life right. is sacred or it's not. Wait. Yeah. Wow. Where, when is this from? Uh, I'd have to look at when he. Uh, That's put a it hot up. Him. I wouldn't have expected him to say that. Yeah. Well. Uh, oh, it gets better. It gets. I better. mean, Hold I can kind of understand why he's taking that stance, though, because historically, Dave has always been the type of person to hate social programs. He hates anything that can help another person. Like he has always been about not helping your fellow man. Someone asked, some sweet potato pie. You don't oh, know who this is. Sweet potato pie. This is Lord of Patriarchy. Yeah, you've seen him. You just don't He's remember. Uh, he He's, used to uh, go by War Corpse Six Six Six. In case you're yeah, one of those people uh, who from back in the day. 
He's one of those types of people that we, I mean, I, I'll say this, sorry, let me speak for myself. I like okay. to cover him because I find him fascinating. His takes are always just rooted in insecurity. I, um, I have to be mindful about what topics that he covers that I cover him covering because mm -hmm. um, I don't want my blood pressure to get too high and I'm on a new anxiety med. So like, I kind of don't want to fuck that up by. Yeah. No, that's fair. Yeah. This might make you mad. Oh, that's this fine. I'll get mad. Okay. All right. Ooh, all right, here we go. Lizard, don't you dare. Someone time what? him out. <laughs> I think he's a mod. This <laughs> is all the fucking Democrats. Yeah, and if you're there. on the, if you're logged into the Unchained Maidens channel on YouTube, <clears throat> you can time him out. You can time out mods. Ooh, look, can I do this? Did I do something? I think I did something. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> fucking <Are> sweet. <laughs> he said. He said that his met. He said that Dave's metal podcast was dope. No, no, we do not go there, sir. We're no, we're not doing that today. For all the fucking left wingers, or fucking anyone who sits there, and they're all for abortion. They're all for abortion. They all love abortions. Abortions, abortions, great. When I heard this, I was thinking of Miss um, Parker's orphanage and abortions are us, and it just it, it just got me laughing, which is probably not appropriate. Can't help with yourself. This. I can't, my brain, all the files in my brain related to this. I just started playing them in my head and I was like, abortions are us. And it just, it was bad. Love abortions, 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 abortions. <laughs> the recreational abortions. All right, fine. That's great. I support you. Do you, Dave? <laughs> Do you, wait, what? <laughs> he supports us. He supports oh. us. That's great. Okay. It just, just, just hold, hold, please. But I don't want to hear you give one fucking whimper. I am done with you, all your stupid little fucking protests and all this other shit. When the state executes some murdering piece of shit. Wait, what? If you so in the last one, remember, he was equating abortions with executions in prison. Right. You support abortion, you have to support the death penalty. <laughs> it means the same thing at the end of the day. Go fuck yourself. Not really, Dave. So Not he's at all. equating <laughs> abortions. Oh my god. Death penalty. It's not the same thing. It's such a it's dumbass not, argument. It's not the same it, thing at all. <laughs> like nowhere near that, that there's not the same implications. There's so many people who are put to um who are executed unjustly. So no, it's not the same thing. But it's just wild that he he equates those two things. I don't how do we get here? <laughs> So what is it? Straw man argument? It's a, it's a, a false yeah, equivalent. There you yeah. go. Oh, yeah. You're hanging out with Yato. Stop it. That's me too. I'm Listen, talking I need to hang out with Yato. Yato be I'm smart. Like you. I'm not I'm smart like at you. all. <clears throat> Wait till I start so. playing our fallacies. Then everybody should watch out. All right. Oh, uh. shit. So I found I've okay, I don't know how I stumbled across this channel. Um but they talk a lot about like um media and um you know Hollywood and stuff. So this guy posted this video talking about Jamie Lee Curtis had posted this picture obviously on the left-hand side. And in the post, I guess on her Instagram somewhere, she was talking about these office chairs, right? I guess she yeah. had made mention of it in an award uh, nomination party, something or other, and she mm -hmm. meant to post a picture of the chairs because she was talking about it, whatever. I don't really care. But then this guy caught on to this picture in the background. Do you all see it? No. Yeah. Mm. It's a person so, in a container. Yeah. So it's a person in a container. And in the background of this photo, hanging on a wall, 
There's another photo. And that's oh. the photo. What's that? No, no, no. I, I, I finally saw what it was. Okay. Yeah, sorry. It's it. Yeah, um, okay. cinema shotgun. I forgot. I was like, it's cinema Shogun. something, but yeah, yeah, Shogun. We're here to talk about. I know that may have confused you, so let me reiterate myself. Okay, so you see the picture a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jamie Lee Curtis took to Instagram and posted this photo with this caption. Okay, this is a weird post. Okay, I don't care about that part. So. I guess my thing is, he's talking about this picture, which is a little weird. Yeah. Okay. Now he goes no, no, into is that the. In that yes. So oh, he goes, okay. and I'll I'll show you the post from Jamie Lee on our Twitter. Mm -hmm. Um, he goes into this conversation about like, how like obviously it's a very controversial picture, um, weird. and she does say that this picture is from someone that gave it to her like 20 something years ago. And apparently it's this person's daughter, quote unquote, playing in the backyard. Um, does this seem weird to y'all? Am I? Yeah. Okay. So there's a kid in a tub. <laughs> yeah. Is that a tub? Is that a tub? It's, it's like one of those uh, storage tubs, those yeah. plastic rubber oh, storage like tubs. Oh, like things. Okay, okay. Yeah. It looks like <clears> they're looks... doing sensory play. Maybe yeah. not even that. It's a bunch of balloons on the floor. It could be just a kid playing outside, or <clears throat> it could be a very disturbing video. But <clears throat> there's no way to tell from just this still. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know that I want. I want to so say this is. Yeah, so this is what she said. So last week I posted a picture of some chairs that included a photo photograph on the wall by an artist that was gifted to me 20 years ago. I understand it has disturbed some people. As I have said, I am a truth teller, so here's the truth. It's a picture of a child taken by her mother of her playing in their backyard in a tub of water. Nothing more, yeah. nothing less. I took the post down because I didn't want to keep something up that upset anyone. So that's what I'm saying. So this is a, she said it's a photographer. It's a photo of by an artist. So it's a, someone that she knows that gifted this to her 20 years ago. So this could be a, a photographer that she really enjoys, a child that she may be in the life of. And everybody knows you get cute pictures of your kids doing dumb shit when they're younger. That could very well just be what this is. Mm -hmm. yeah. And and that's what she's saying. It's just a picture of a kid in a tub. It's not a big deal. I really liked it. Okay. So Lindsay says the photographer has many weird photos of her daughter and another person who works with her has photos of na of a naked boy. That isn't, it's like a now, bunch. Okay. The, the oh. person that so this is with what her, I would mm. keep, like, I would keep an eye on because that's fucking weird. If there's the collection of naked kids, there's that's... definitely an issue because that's not an artistic choice. I, I understand, like, what I'm talking about is like, you know, when you get your kids in the tub, because I have like photos of my of my god kids or my son when he's like two three years old in the bubble bath you know they make one of those beards with the bubble yeah. bath and take a picture you know that's what yeah. i'm saying but i wouldn't give that away though like, <laughs> exactly you know? yeah those photos yeah. in your album we all kind of have some of those weird ones you know you yeah. know, everybody has a picture of their toddler naked maybe running through the house because that shit was hilarious right but you're not sharing that it's just right exactly you, know, yeah. a family that away. Picture, you laugh um so Wildflower yeah, saying things were a bit different 20 years ago. I wouldn't hang it on my wall. And in today's climate, I sure as hell wouldn't include it another pick. So, yeah, exactly, yeah. so I remember, um, this is just a, a literal childhood memory that I have that I, when we would go to the beach, I would like my weird thing that I did as a kid, cause I was a weird kid. <laughs> I know shocking. Um, I would dig holes in the sand to the point that I would hit, I would hit water and I would just sit in there like as a little kid not wearing a whole lot like in this pit just covered in nasty and sand the weird shit the kids do and i know there's pictures of me somewhere in a photo album mm -hmm. of me doing weird shit i don't know that anyone would ever put that on a wall right yeah. play it. do mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying yeah. like it just I mean... it's like a, a funny weird picture with a funny story to it you know but i don't know i would put that on a wall somewhere but i, I don't mean... know Maybe when I'm my reaching. Kid was, when my kid was a toddler, I wouldn't even put up pictures of him like without a shirt mm -hmm. on social media because That's how I was like I know 
I'm, you know, obviously like the people around me or me, I'm, we're not thinking anything of it, but, but I don't know what other people you. are looking at it as. So right. I would be afraid of that. And I, you know, so yeah, I wouldn't well, put that up on my wall. Yeah. Well, especially because it's, it's, it's not like just your, I'll say your average civilian it's not one of us like we don't mm-hmm. we barely have any followers or whatever this is jamie lee curtis like, very big following huge platform yeah. very big following yeah. and yeah. everything that you do and even at our small nice. scale you were you were under a microscope you were criticized for everything that you do good bad and indifferent and so it's kind of like uh, one, I have questions about that picture, but I don't want to think. I want to know it. more about the photographer. If the photographer yeah. has history mm-hmm. and a legacy of taking these types of pictures with kids, I find that to be exceptionally disturbing. Because right. that's it not is. art. That is, you, you. we all know what that is. And I don't like that. Right. Yeah. yeah. Makes me uncomfortable. It makes me very no, It makes me uncomfortable, but I didn't know. Because I, and again, I'm an adult and I've done... Um, some risque photo shoots, um, yeah. but I, th- I'm an, ad- I'm an adult, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I can consent to those things. I don't know. It just, the, the thing, it made me feel weird and then made me sad because it's Jamie Lee Curtis and I love What's even sadder is franchise. that we can't even share pictures of our babies online. You know what no. I mean? I, like when you think about safe. it, like I remember a time when you can sit with your girlfriends, like you share your little photos with each other on your phones, like, oh, look mm-hmm. at what she did today, look at what they did today. You can just show pictures of your baby. And a lot of those pictures, yeah, there's a baby butt or there's, you know, a topless baby or whatever. Mm-hmm. Cause babies for like the first two years of their life, they barely wear clothes because they're yeah. fucking assholes. Really you know, so <laughs> there's always really those don't. moments. And it's so sad that you can't just innocently enjoy that with your friends and family online yeah. because there's some pervert taking it different and it's so sad that is so mm-hmm. sad because i have so much joy laughing at kids do dumb shit and you really oh, yeah, can't do too. that anymore you know well i like seeing you know because you know i've got young family members cousins stuff like that i love seeing them grow up and the silly things that they do but the internet is such a like we keep talking about it's just not a safe place and you can't even share those things online virtually with another person because there's always that risk that someone's going to get into your Facebook. Someone's going to try to pretend to be somebody else on the Instagram. I mean, like Mm -hmm. we had someone recently that tried to pretend to be another person in our community and was friending people on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, we've talked about crackheads by games and it's just, it's just so sad that, you know, this is how, Hey trash. How are you? (laughs) Hello. Hello. I'm home now. Also, real quick, um, where is she? Where are you? Listen, I just picked a random comment in the uh, everyone wish unprotected Lex a happy birthday. Yes. Do it. Do it happy now. Birthday. Happy birthday from happy the main. Happy birthday. Um, so what did Mercy say? Sorry. Uh, the the quote unquote art that Jamie posted yeah. is not innocent or even art. The woman took naked pics of her daughter full frontal from the day what? she was born every day for years. That's yeah. so Don't alarming. worry, I am working yeah. on doing some uh deep diving like as That's we are doing this. Alarming. That's not yeah. art. That that is yeah. not art to me. I I mean I like I said, when you have family pictures, those photos and I've told my godsons, I was like, I can't wait till you get married. I'm gonna show your wife. You know, you over here doing fuck mm-hmm. shit as a baby. You no, know, that's what those pictures are for. They're for internal family jokes and stuff like that. It's it's a, you know, when I get older, I can look back at my babies and be mm-hmm. like, oh wow, I remember when you look like this. That's that's what that's for. It's not just oh man, it breaks my heart. It breaks my fucking heart that people, ugh. Um, yeah, and it, uh, mercy. Thank you for adding this um, and publish them. The child that's child prawn and can do do so continue to do other series where she put children among them that's just that's yeah i don't like that disturbing and the then the other thing with that is like again jamie lee curtis is a well-known person with a very large Mm -hmm. following and you have that you've posted it and let's say let's say um devil's advocate let's say she didn't know originally that that was happening 20 something years ago but Did you do any res- research on this quote unquote artist? Yeah. Did you find anything out? And if you found anything out, you should have taken that shit down, burned it, and cut all ties. You know what I mean? I mean and report reported things as could be reported. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, if somebody gave me a picture of their kid to hang up, 
and the yeah. kid is not clothed, I'm gonna be like, why are you giving me this? Like, yeah. I don't want yeah. this. I like, don't want your naked Parker baby said, in my house. Right? Exactly. If if you were going through pictures and your little toddler's running around doing something stupid, you know what they do, like, and they just happen to be without a shirt or whatever, that's one thing. But no. and it, it would also be different if like, if it was like your toddler that was running around doing stupid toddler stuff without their shirt on with another toddler that like mm -hmm. and you're like, giving there that be, picture of your toddlers you together to the other parent because hey even that's then a you wouldn't blow it up kids. though no right like even no. if like i have some really fuck cute no. ass pictures of my godson he is the cutest little thing ever his name is preston and i love him to pieces and he oh. is adorable fat little baby i put him on a on a little white rug fuzzy rug that's and he was baby. butt naked i got a cute picture of him just butt naked on a first skin rug and i was like nigga you was balling and he's seven now right no. and so it's so cute to me to see him because i think he was like four months old in that picture i no matter how cute that picture is I'm not blowing that picture up and putting right. it on my wall. Mm -hmm. Like it's adorable, but I'm not gonna like. Yeah, no, it's not that cute. Like I, that's I, weird, right? That's yeah, weird. It is. So the yeah. artist is Betsy Schneider, a sick one, but luckily her art was banned from many places. It's about yeah, yeah. Thank you, yeah. Mercy, for for Thank that information because yeah, I'm sure I mean, um, Mango will be deep diving. <laughs> I, I already have like. Things eight nine links like i've been doing this since like Shit. we brought her up oh that's so oh sad. Yeah. listen i have opened up another portal for mango sorry oh. mango my bad i think it also opens up the conversation to like child consent when it comes to social media because uh, absolutely you see that with like a lot of parents sharing a whole bunch of things about their kids and then when their kids like my kid is 13 now he don't want to go online and see stuff from when he was a kid and yeah. embarrassing stuff. Like now he has friends that are gonna see things and all that. Mm -hmm. So it's like I think it opens up that conversation as to that's your child, but it doesn't give you the right to just share everything about them because at one point, at some some day they're gonna be an adult. They're gonna and want privacy of their gonna own. Be, exactly, and they deserve that. So, well, and and it doesn't awesome. make any sense to say that kids are too young to have social media, but you're plastering them you're all plastering over your social right. media. It's the exactly. same thing. Yeah. Like, pedophiles could still be on your page looking at mm -hmm. your kids. Yeah, and and you're saying, do. oh, you know, this this is the kids at the St. John's fundraiser for their school. And it's like, why are you telling people where your kids go to school? Exactly. Like, what, are, you, like, are you crazy? The saddest part is just like we archive and follow people. There are people that archive and follow children, and it yep. is a sad reality online. They mm -hmm. will take those innocent pictures and put them on websites for disgusting people. And okay. it sucks that we have to live in this reality, but it's reality. So, well, and then it, we also have to. Question. What's yeah. the question? The question that they asked was Is there any chance that she had okay, not known any of this? Um, I don't no. know. No, because well, I just found to... out that there is a, a photo gallery that that image is a part of called Sweet is the Swamp. Oh. Some of those pictures oh. came from 2001 and featured that little boy in question that someone mentioned earlier, like from the pelvis bone up and that's fucking disgusting why did you hang yeah. that up jamie lee curtis why are you accepting gifts from this betsy schneider oh, woman please that's... stop this is disturbing that is that's so and i i want to believe that it's an innocent thing but i, I can't i, I can't mm -hmm. she much. has she right. has an image the of someone alone. from 2007 uh with his an underage boy with his pants pulled down peeing on the side of the road you can't see anything from the front but you see his ass like no this no i'm good i don't i'm good so how about yeah. them bears how about them bears i heard that the bears had won the super bowl yesterday and they won by like <laughs> i think they got a, a free throw or something like that in the seventh inning and it was amazing it was it was it was a it went, great it went right in the goal it was sports <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was sports, and I, I was very excited about the sports. Sports well, are always exciting. Also, hey, did you guys know that we're still doing the Indigenous Peoples Charity? Oh, where's uh, your little doohickey? Oh, I, I, I just posted it. It should pop up soon, but yeah, okay. you uh, you donate, you take a there screenshot of 
your receipt black out your personal information because we don't want to know who you are we don't care we just need to know the organization you donated to and the dollar amount you send that receipt to postlaguana at gmail.com if we reach the two thousand dollar goal by january 31st technically midnight eastern standard time february 1st that way all you you know west coast people have time to get your stuff in we will eat a cobes chimichanga burger yeah torture yeah. us <laughs> what what are we at now? How close are we to the uh, goal here? The last time we checked, we were at eight twenty, so we were a little below halfway. Um, for every one hundred fifty dollars you donate directly to one of the charities at one time, we will eat an egg that has been hard boiled in code red Mountain Dew. We currently owe four eggs because people love to see people get tortured. So, <laughs> and we didn't put a cap on the eggs, so. We're dumb. We're dumb. We're Are dumb. you regretting past self that you didn't put a cap on the eggs? Oh, well, considering that we were smart last time and we put a cap on the Mountain Dew eggs at one. So we each ate a Mountain Dew egg that one. And then we also had the uh, beer hard-boiled eggs and we ate the uh, the Cobes potted meat nachos. We did all that for Ukraine. So, yeah, help us reach yeah, the goal. Yeah, they do the stuff and things for charity, folks. All the stuff and thins. So this is kind of random, and we have some time, so I did want to go over this. Um, did y'all hear about... Now, okay, let me rephrase. I am a makeup beauty lover, okay? May not seem like it because I look like a hot mess on a regular. However, I was like um, kind of like a silent viewer of the beauty community for years and years and years. And then it kind of blew up a couple years ago, you know, the Jaclyn Hill, the Jeffree Star, all those folks, right? Did you hear that Morphe has filed for bankruptcy? Yes. Did you hear all of that hoopla? Okay. I so, didn't. Holy shit. I mean, I'm not surprised yeah. that brushes kind of suck, but Well, so so that's 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 where this all starts. So, um so Morphe, for those of you that, that don't know, um, they they are kind of a younger brand. However, they rose really fast, got really, really big, and now they have crashed and burned. So um, a couple years ago, there was a, a beauty YouTuber by the name of Stephanie Nicole. She actually called out um, when these makeup brushes came out in, like I think it was 2016, um, they were like really, really poor quality. And so she's, she's a YouTuber. She also, she hasn't been on in a, in a couple of years, but she did bring a lot of attention. And this scandal actually still follows Morphe to this day. Um, so she's actually a professional um, with a man like manufacturing products. So she's got like a good background when it comes to that stuff. Um, so she called out that issue with like the brushes and she was, they were like, um, like the, the private labeling. Um, so that it wasn't actually them creating the, the brushes. It was a different company. Um, right. And then, then there was an issue with like um, James Charles, which I'm sure you guys have seen, like James Charles has been in multiple scandals and controversy over the years. Um, messaging inappropriate things to minors. He's been called out. He's made bullshit um, apology videos, all this stuff. But before that happened, he had a palette with Morphe. But the problem with that is some of the shades in the palette um, were causing um, staining and puffy eyes. So they, they had ingredients in these shades that were not safe for eye use. And so Morphe ended up in a class action lawsuit because of it. Um, oh, they're about to have it, another one with the Lisa Frank palette. Yes. Because the Lisa Frank palette's doing the exact same thing that James Charles it's one doing did. the exact same thing. And so um, then you get into like Lipstick Gate with Jaclyn Hill. Sorry, I, I told you. I've been in it. I've been just, listen, this, this shit blows my mind. So then you talk about like Lipstick Gate with Jaclyn Hill. Ugh. Um yeah, so it turned out, like, Jacqueline's brand that she, quote-unquote, created and is the founder of, but that's a whole nother shit show, because now Jacqueline Hills filed for bankruptcy, her cosmetic lines filed for bankruptcy. Um, so it turned out that, like, her stuff was linked to Morphe, um, and so, like, there's, like, all these issues with, like, quality control. Like, that's the biggest issue you see with Morphe, is the issue with quality control. Um, and then... It came out that 
Morphe, because they were starting to go downhill, um, they started dropping all the problematic uh, influencers. They dropped James Charles. They dropped Jeffrey Starr because of the public eye. They were like, listen, we're going to start boycotting Morphe if you don't drop these problematic influencers that have so many controversies. Um, so... So there's a couple different things I wanted to pull up. And I know Mango likes this kind of stuff. Uh, um, so this um, was written on the 12th of this year. But there's there's tons of tons of videos on this. Um, so Morphe Parent Company, Forma Brands, has filed for bankruptcy. Now, Forma is a makeup. Um, they're kind of like a, like a jumping off point. They help other brands like build. Um so um, when all this first started going down and it came out that like Morphe was having all these problems, Morphe employees were walking in. This is right before Christmas, right before Christmas, bitch. Like right before Christmas, these Morphe employees are walking into their stores and the stores are bare. Nothing like there's barely anything on the shelves. And like they found out. Uh, oh, in a couple days, Morphe's like this store's closing. This store's closing, and they didn't. Ha they had like a severance package of like one to three weeks. Like they like Morphe. Part of my language fucked over their employee. They fucked them over real bad. Um, and they had no no warning whatsoever. They they fucked them over. So, um, there's there's so many lawsuits going on. So, um. Uh, a week after makeup brand Morphe took to Twitter to announce it would be closing all of its U.S. stores because before they've been uh, some people on TikTok, um, one manager came out and said like they found out that their store was closing like the next day. Um, uh, so their parent company, Forma Brands, filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. According to a statement from Forma, their assets will be acquired by investors and they'll be getting about $33 million in financing from the, that group. Um, as part of that sale, the company has entered Chapter 11. Quote, this agreement is a testament to the strength. Sure, Jan. Um... So, so there doesn't seem to be any information on like liquidation, but like some type of like reforming things, rebranding, but I don't know if they're going to come back from this. Like, um, fall in the closure of Morphe stores, but before the format to ask, um, what's meant for the future, um, the company yeah, declined to comment. To ask the so same Morphe's thing, not even Alibis. commenting. Oh, am I roboting? Just a little bit. You're like cut in and out. How about now? You sound good. Okay, is that better? Yeah. I might be um it might be just too much going on in the background because I've got like three articles pulled up and it just might be too much for my poor little computer to handle. Um, so I can I can um, include those later. Um, like I'll send them to Mango because I know we've been talking about it. But yeah, like there, um, there's a couple different lawsuits. There's a lawsuit against the company Playa that they had, which is a hair care line. Um, and um yeah so that was just i just wanted to touch on that am i still roboting because oh, no. now i'm paranoid that i'm roboting. no you're good <laughs> okay sorry about that i was like i'm probably roboting and i'm going into this whole tangent and everyone's gonna go what is she saying what is happening she's so she's talking real fast that she's roboting <laughs> we got you um, don't worry thank you so i think her username is Creep Peachy on TikTok. She's the one that kind of started breaking the story about Morphe stores just closing and not warning their employees. Um, so if you have TikTok, definitely check her out. Um, but there's ton, there's at least three lawsuits going on against Morphe. Um, on top of now the bankruptcy, it's come out that Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics is going into bankruptcy, and it's just, yeah. It's just, it's a lot. And it's, it's crazy to see because like, if you've been following the beauty community for any length of time, it was like, they, they rose really fast because the, the big push with beauty influencers. Mm -hmm. 
And now that like you've pulled James Charles and you pulled Jeffree Star, and I'm not saying they didn't do the right thing by doing that. They were trying to do what was best for their brand. Um, but at the same time, I think it also really hurt them in the long run. There was no winning in that situation. You kept them on, people would have boycotted Morphe. You take them off, and now people, they're not, you're not getting the sales. Um, and yeah, they're so. Probably, okay. Go ahead. No, you're good. Go ahead. No, I was going to say, they'll probably just rename it and come back to something else. Yeah, yeah. especially with Forma Likely. as like the parent company. Yeah. But I don't know. Like, I, because I, I watch um, Peter Mon, I watch Dustin Daly, and uh, many other YouTubers, and. You know, I think it I think it was Dustin. I don't want to put words in his mouth, um, but I believe it was Dustin that said it wouldn't shock him if like Morphe just went completely like they liquidated and they just went out. Mm -hmm. Um yeah. in the next in the next couple of years, not like this year or maybe in the next two, three years. I think that was Dustin that said that. So I mean the brand is already like what are you gonna do? Tarnished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's tarnished. So they're gonna have to rename it and kind of salvage whatever they can and settle. You know, with whoever's trying to sue them and keep them moving because there's no way to salvage it at this point. I don't think, at least as far as what I know, it's not, you know, yeah, it's not looking it, too good. It's not. And I think of the other issue, I think for me, like, Morphe's not the greatest quality. Like we've talked about, they have no. had horrible quality control issues with their with their brushes, with their makeup palettes. Like, people get palettes. I think it was the Jaclyn Hill um, vault two issue that they had there were people were getting their palettes and they would use them once and then the next the next try of them trying to use it it was like moldy like your eyeshadow oh. should not be moldy that's even if it's like i have drag queens who have used the same makeup for years and years and years and i've never heard any of them be like oh yeah there's mold on it like what no that's what how yeah. what what is in there that's molding <laughs> right um, bleh, gross. It's yeah, yeah. So, thank you for letting me talk about that. I was just like, I've been watching it all go down the last couple of weeks, and I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> and then like DM and Mango, I'm like, oh my god, this oh story. God. There's bankruptcy. There's lawsuits. It's everything you love. <laughs> there's adultery, <laughs> probably. There's probably, there probably is. YouTubers. There's, you know, <laughs> Oh my god. You know why the quality control is so bad? The two quality control people fucking Yup. That's exactly <laughs> <the> it. <laughs> uh listen, the makeup beauty community is wild. It's crazy over there. I heard like, it I was. I've never followed it. Oh, no, okay, so I like to Look at the beauty guru chatter on Reddit. Mm -hmm. Like that is an amazing <gasps> subreddit. I, I had that. I had that there. one up to pull up. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, good. Because like they will let you know everything. If there is something going on, they will let you know, and they will provide receipts. Oh. Yeah. If you ever want to just go into a time suck, like a you know, you just keep scrolling. Go on the the beauty guru chatter on Reddit. It is a wild. It's a good time. So thank you for indulging me as I <laughs> talk Always. about the most random fucking shit. <laughs> Speaking of random fucking shit. Yes. This guy. Oh. I told you oh, that no. there was uh, government cheese. Okay. So oh, I, this. apparently this is tame in comparison to what we've watched in the past. Mm -hmm. Oh, is this uh. the asshole guy? Yeah. Asshole cooking show. It's the show. Uh, okay. So... Um. So actually, I'm not home after all, and no, no, I'm, back, I'm still back. driving. So <laughs> I, I'm like, going through a tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> no, I you're not. You're everything. not allowed to do that. I've already roboted. You don't get to. You don't get I to regret no. everything. Nay, 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 nay. I say, are you ready? <laughs> no. It's the show. It's the show. The show. The show. Another episode of the asshole cooking show. It is. Don't show. remind us. No oh God, it's a <laughs> pot of meat. <laughs> uh, today we're going to do. Uh, this is going to be like a similar to the pizza burger you used to have in the school lunches back when you were in never never uh, uh, hey, wait. no i have questions what is a pizza burger am i i don't 
That sounds I like assume something it's just a would make. burger with like pizza sauce and mozzarella cheese on it. If I oh, had to guess, you're you're expecting too much from the asshole cooking show. I mean, I I don't I don't assume that's his version. I assume that's what was served to children in the cafeteria, and he just bastardized it. Oh no! I'm, I'm sure his is much more horrendous and inedible than cafeteria food, and that's saying something well, in America, right? This is what this ended up tasting like when. I actually made this like another day. I didn't record it, but it turned out pretty successful. I just should have recorded, and I would have wrote. Doubt. Excuse me. I would have already had the episode, but but we're gonna do this. But anyway, I'm gonna start uh, cooking up this ground meat. Oh my God! Clean your stovetop. Yeah, Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. That was Please. like just not needed commentary, but my brain went. My eye was twitching. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna drain no. the grease you get used to it after a while. Oh, I, I won't. I've tried. <laughs> I'm to drain all the grease off it. Right now, we're going to do... Oh, my God. Uh, oh, it gets worse. We're going to prepare... Looks like there's, like, melted popsicle uh, on there yeah. and, like, spilled coffee. What the fuck? A little fuck? bit of blood, that, blood right beside. Yeah. 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 yeah, that looks like... Did you cut yourself, sir? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So, real quick. Uh, Mango, can you do the thing while we're talking about food that's gross? <sighs> yes. Okay. <laughs> so... You hit that link, the uh, Google Doc link, it will take you to a list of organizations. And you can select one, go to their direct donation links, and the money it's for indigenous peoples, including Pacific Asian Islanders. Once you donate, you screenshot your receipt, you black out your personal information because we don't want to know. You send that receipt to postaliguana at gmail.com. And you get added to the total. If we reach $2,000, we will be eating the Cobes Chimichanga Burger. For every $150 you donate directly to one of those organizations at exactly one time, we will be eating an egg hard-boiled in Code Red Mountain Dew. So far, Lizard and I owe four eggs because we did not put a cap on that shit because we are stupid. So... Do the theme. We love you. We appreciate you. You have until January 31st to do so. Let's do it. Do the thin. Okay, wait. Also, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, it gets worse. <laughs> there are the ingredients here. We're going to cut up this. Well, um. Wait, wait. Pasteurized process. American cheese. It's, it's a giant block of government cheese. Okay. We can slice the cheese when it's about ready, but I'm going to slice it and get it prepared like now because it can take too long. Oh my God, that okay. What'd you say? That counter is killing me right now. It's corn <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're going to use the corn biscuits instead of corn flake crumbs, but if you have corn flakes what the to squeeze fuck is a up corn biscuit. Like, I'm trying right. to figure out what the fuck that even is. Like, I've never, even, even like, the most off-brand cereal, I've never seen something called biscuits for cereal. Okay. I have to say this just in case, like, Miss Parker is there and has been trying to talk to us. You might be muted. I don't know what you're doing, but just in case. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you're, if if you're you sleeping, talk, you're muted. We're not trying to be rude, but you are muted. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I would... personally am trying to be rude because I'm racist against toasters. I prefer ah. microwave ovens. Well, so... and she's a toaster. Well, with besides a that, so yeah, I, I is she still a cis or a, he still a cis male toaster? Is that a cis white that right? male toaster that identifies as Mrs. Toaster? What white male toaster of privilege? Got it. Yep. <laughs> or you want to buy corn? Um, corn flake crumbs, but. I I'm did figure out like what the equivalent text. of that is. These, it, yeah, it's no, like no, it's like checks and um, Captain Crunch had a baby together. <laughs> and um, like the way they look, look at that. You can even use um, check cereal. Listen, I, I feel like we could just turn them down, and it would be the same. Hold on, yeah. it'd be equally horrifying. Real. Something you can squish and smush, you know, and squish and smush. Is, uh, <laughs> almost like some people put the in when they're making a meatloaf. We're gonna put it in with the meat. I don't know how so many y'all know people like cereal an adult. in meatloaf, but um, if you do, you're not invited to my house. So he's gonna break those up. Yeah, no. Put them in the meat. Yes. 
like a meatloaf. Yep. Yes. Yep. Okay. We're gonna uh, after that we're gonna put it in a pan and then we're gonna like you know melt the cheese on it. It's gonna be really good. So <laughs> whatever sure. you what whatever you say, buddy. Well, here I'm gonna just do this for now. I'm gonna take. Or it takes to get to through the night. Can someone can someone in his audience send him a tripod? <laughs> He never does right. these live. Oh, he he pre-records these and puts them up. But just a tripod, just something. The, the handshaking is giving my oh, vertigo a spin. Uh, he he got a really cute phone stand that looks like a cat. Uh-huh. And, <laughs> and just yeah, that's, a, that's about what he has. He doesn't have a tripod. He has a partner that he cooks for, so she eats this stuff too. Please Bless. don't forget that. Bless. We're going to just... If, if that's you're not single, loyalty, I don't know what, I mean. <laughs> if you're in the audience and you're single and you're like, am I ever going to find somebody? Sometimes it feels hopeless. Just remember, this man cooks for this woman every day and she eats it and she still loves him and stays with him. So anything can happen. There is someone out there for you. They have everybody's, a void cat. The void everybody's got their lobster. You know? <gasps> void cat? Yeah, yeah everyone have does have cat. a lobster. Oh, I love void cat. Everybody has their lobster. Dump them in here for now, and then, of course, we're going to throw this box away. Oh, oh, good. We're cleaning up trash. No box. He threw it on the floor. He just flew it on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just get in there with your bare hands. It's yeah. like ASMR, but like the worst kind. Yeah. Oh, oh, her eyes eat really good. I also love that Cosby sweater he has on. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this down. This is really just not that I expect me. anything different, but still. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Well, normally okay. he's wearing a tank top. He does work out a lot. There's videos of him doing like splits on his doorway. Wait. He also really? does splits and push-ups. Yeah, dude is like fit. Can dude we look that up after? I'm curious. <laughs> yeah, I can. I also want to see what his food. face looks like. Uh, it's not that great. I but. mean, I'm sure it's not, but you know when somebody's <laughs> just so horrifying and, like, all, they have just an avatar and you're like, I need to know what you look like, you monster. L this is how I feel yeah. about this guy. <laughs> oh, oh, Ms. Parker's back. Send... I'm oh. back. So what, what, are we, what are we making? What is, what is this? <laughs> pizza uh, burger. An abomination. We're making against pizza God. burgers. That's not pizza or burger. That's that's Chex Mix. And I got meat in a pot, Miss Parker. Meat you gotta in a trust pot. the process. Okay. All right, let's go. Oh, uh, Miss Parker, there's also a block of government cheese. Oh, you yeah. can't have a meal without a block of government cheese. That's that's how yeah. I start all of my meals. Yeah. <laughs> so I just, I should First warn thing you, you put in the cart with them wick checks, man. And I did turn them cheese. down so we can just start. We can just so, talk you know, over them. So that is beautiful. Squeezes up and this is just very good. All you gotta do is this is the fun part. I mean, yeah, anything. A potato process. masher. I don't. I don't give a shit. Just not your. Hands that I'm sure you haven't washed. He has not Let's washed them. Go. Now that is how you get salmonella, folks. Mm. He's gonna be an asshole about it. <laughs> He's gonna be an asshole about it. Ah, he said the thing. He said the thing. The thing. This is gonna be mixed with the meat after you drain. Did you hear that? We're mixing this with the meat, Miss Parker. Using it like a breadcrumb. Yeah, so this is a breadcrumb mix. All right, uh, I'll take it. Well, which like cereal. it's fine for a meat. Fundamentally, loaf, but, like, that makes I've, sense. I don't think I've ever heard of anybody adding breadcrumbs for a burger. Like it's just I supposed have. to be meat, right? Yeah. Have you? Yes, I have heard people doing breadcrumbs in a burger. So I'm like, okay, I'll take that. I've seen it before. In a burger, I've heard it in a meatloaf. Yeah, I it just seems superfluous. I don't know, man. No, yeah, people are doing it in their burgers. They'll put like breadcrumbs in there and then they're seasoning. And then Fucking Americans will add carbs to anything. God damn. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> bread in the meat and bread on the, you know, on the meat. Yeah. I have all of it breaded. <laughs> all the meat. All I the act meat. like I'm above that, but I'm not. Get a plate here in the next. See, that's all so smushed up. It's all smushed up. The meat, almost like Is that the meat. technical term for it? it I'm going with it. I like it. <laughs> We're going to cut up. Holy Jesus. Whoa. That is yellow. I don't like know what I was anticipating, but. 
Is that plastic cheese? <laughs> yeah, it's like the Velveeta cheese. cheese. Like it, yeah. like if you put That's it on a burner, cheese. it's not gonna melt. It's just gonna burn. It's just gonna turn black. You know. When when people say that it's government cheese, this this is what they're talking about. This is the yeah. block that you get for super cheap. It's overly pasteurized. It's American cheese. It's not even Velveeta. Like that's how bad this is. It's not even Velveeta. It's like if you took craft singles from the dollar store, like the off brand craft singles, and just had yep. a giant block of it. Yeah. God damn. That's what this it's is. It's a food it's a cheese product. Yes. It's yeah, not yeah. Cheese. It's terrible. Listen, I love cheese, but um, but this is a lot. Yeah, no. We're gonna cut it in slices the best we can. It don't gotta be perfect. Don't want to. We're gonna cut in slices. I do. They're somewhat thick because they're gonna be melted on top. You know what I think upsets me the most is like. When, when I was, like, a little baby, like, my mom was on WIC, and so, you know, like, I get the whole government cheese thing. I've been there, but I have a feeling this guy would be the guy who would have money and not be on, like, WIC or food stamps of, of any kind and still get this because he's like, it's perfectly yeah. good. Like, yeah. and that, <laughs> that's what's those guys. to me. If it was out of necessity, I'd be like, totally get it, dude. But yeah. I feel like he'd be like... He'd be one of those dudes who makes like five hundred grand a year and be like, "This is perfectly good," and you're like, "Bro, really? You can afford <laughs> yeah, that?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I'm one of those people. That's exactly what I'm gonna be when I get older. <laughs> like um, off-brand everything. Mango, I'm scared. I'm scared for you. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll give that one to Fit after we're done making this. Oh, thank no. you, Lizard. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> we're gonna bake it for some time. Just cut these all up in some bunch of slices until it's all done. Oh. Ah, even if it ain't in perfect in pieces, we're gonna lay it all over there. Okay. Those are thick slices. Yeah, goes. those are some thick ass slices of well, cheese. Well, they're gonna be all melted, so it's fine. Um, I don't that's know if that's. Ca- I don't think it's. Ca- I don't think it's capable. <laughs> Listen, that's what he told us. Okay, I feel I'm like it'll get like process. sweaty, and that's it. Like there'll be a sheen of cheese sweat Ooh, on top. But I, I think, yeah, you added so much extra sweat. to that sheen. I like sheen. that. That was fun. Yeah, <laughs> it's just gonna be like oily and shiny, I love that. disgusting. I like, like how you do oil. S-H's. Yeah, oh, I like how you yeah. do that. That's fine. I think I think if that was the disgust and disdain seeping out, honestly. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, I like how you hit fair. those yeses. That's amazing. <laughs> you can use whatever you got. You can even take shredded cheddar or something shredded even too. Oh, we can do shredded yeah, cheese. I'm gonna, I'm gonna okay. We can do actual cheese. <laughs> no, you don't have to you always use human fish cheese. Crap. Yeah. Listen, I love cheese. I made broccoli cheddar soup for dinner, but this is terrifying. Bro, I love that favorite soup. Listen, I mm. listen, I already told y'all I don't have heat in my house right now, so a bitch is making warm food. You don't? So, oh no! Oh, it's what fine. It's like it, the well side note. Yato chewed through her wires. Yeah, he, oh, he, he decided to break the the gas cap on my gas heat. Um, so hopefully we get it fixed earlier, early this week. Um, but it's 56 in my house. It's totally fine. But yeah, anyway, so I'm, I'm, I'm making warm food, but this is, uh, yeah. this is wow. not making me want anything. <laughs> oh God. All right. Hey, it's so gray. Okay. All right. Okay. I can do this. It's not even done cooking. <laughs> There goes it the is metal not. spoon in the metal. I have a question. And... Is that is that just grease and fat and yes. yeah, that's a hundred percent grease that I'm gonna take a wild guess that he's not going to drain, drain out. Okay. Oh no, okay. see, he's just gonna let the cereal soak it up. You you never know if he's going to drain it straight into the sink. Uh-huh. If he's going to <laughs> put the meat in the oh, strainer, no. drain the meat into the sink, and then uh, rinse the meat off to get off the extra fat. Yeah, no, he does that sometimes. Yeah, he releases meat sometimes. Uh, I I can't remember if he does that in this video or not. But you have to remember, I've seen like thirty some odd asshole cooking videos. Okay, if I, I mean, see that's how you do it. 
if I see him dump the grease and fat down the drain, I may go That's into That's going to trigger the fuck out of you. I'm going to go into a short rant that Mango may have to rein me in on. A short but educational I'm, rant. But I'm going to hold back for now. I'm going to hold I'm gonna hold back. I'm going to I'm going to keep my cool, you know, cuz it's cold as fuck in my house. <laughs> I'm here for you. I will support I you through this. You yeah. might need to put the leash on and, and pull me back because I might <laughs> yeah. lose it soon. It's oh my great. god. It's great. I just coughed. Oh, oh yep. Yeah, there's the strainer. Oh, yep. The strainer. Going okay. in the sink. Yep. yep. Okay. How you do it, folks? Okay. Take yep. notes. Write Mango. it down. <laughs> oh no. no. <laughs> Hold me back. No, All right. Just, just, just. He's got the strainer. We right. Strain the it's beef, right. right. It's right over the the drain. The There's nothing in the drain to stop Always the grease. Always pour your grease. Always pour your grease down the drain. Uh, there it, it goes great for the environment. There it is. That's make, how you do it. Make sure to yep. move it in a clockwise circle so it really coats the drain evenly. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, y'all are gonna. <laughs> it helps. It Please. helps all the poop slide through the the pipe. <laughs> the like, we have to constantly. Oh, you shit in your kitchen sink. Yeah, you have to do that. Like, I don't know if you guys understand. Like, yeah. when you're when you work, because mm -hmm. I I work with this stuff all day. I know a lot of you guys don't uh -huh. know that I work. But I work with this stuff all day. And, uh -huh. And it's really hard sometimes because people don't understand how important it is to grease the inside. <laughs> you gotta lube them pipes. Yeah, you know what I mean? You have to really, you know, it's logic. And it sucks that a lot of people just don't understand that. These are know? my internet friends and they are trolling. <laughs> <laughs> I, I invited all of them here, okay? <laughs> Listen, we're just trying to get people to understand that it helps diapers and condoms slide down the drain more easily. Exactly. Yeah. How else are you supposed to get all of your blunt guts down the toilet if you don't put grease down the sink? You know what I mean? Uh, do I do it? Do I go into a rant? Do I let it You've go? You've got it. Okay. Just, just let's let's see if he drains the meat because I can't remember if he like. Let's see if he rinses. <gasps> yep, he rinses it. I was. Uh, yep, this is the one. He rinses it. Hi, I'm Mango Jones, and I keep letting Fit download videos when she doesn't know what's in them. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh God. He I oh hell no. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I can do hard things. You got this. Listen, I the, believe the pipes are ready for him to clean the litter box and dump it down the drain now. I need to. I need to describe to you the feeling inside of my body. Okay? <laughs> Pure rage. I have a lot of tension in my chest piece region. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it feels very hot, and it's not from the Trulies I've been drinking. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. You've got this. Out there. My jaw is clenching. <laughs> I'm this. getting a headache behind as my well eyes. As well as your asshole. Um, it's ooh. all right. You've got this. <laughs> no, I don't got this. Okay, here's the deal. <laughs> Short, concise rant, and Mango yes. Noble rein me in. Yes. Please do not dump your grease down the drain mm -hmm. if you do so i don't give a fuck what you've been taught hot water does not work it works works for a short distance and then what's going to happen is that that fat and that grease that you're dumping down your drain will harden and clog the drain and if it doesn't make it to the main sewer line it's still in your line which means when your shit literally backs up into your toilet and your sinks and your showers it will be your fault and you will be responsible to clean it most likely also grease and fat compact on itself like concrete and breaks metal at places like where i work um don't do this um if you get bored look up greasebergs Mm -hmm. And fatbergs, okay? Yeah. Okay. Don't do that. Just, you, just put it in a done, jar. You done just for clarification, jar. you guys. Uh, just oh, for no. clarification, um, oh. fit and curvy does <gasps> not work with the plumbing uh, systems in any city whatsoever. And there are a lot of articles out there that will help you dispose of your grease down the drain. So, you know, it's a thing. <laughs> It's a thing, and you know, there's there's two schools of thought on this. Is all I'm saying is that there's two schools of thought, and people should just be able to make up their own minds 
you know, my house, my rights, you know? So, mm -hmm. right. Okay. And for further clarification, if you're wondering how she lost not one, but two husbands, that's why. Can't oh. fit. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> I have seen people dump shit down their drains. It clogs their drains. And then when they try to flush their toilet, their lateral coming from their home is clogged with fucking grease and the shit backs up into their house. Have fun with that in your fucking basement. Now I'm just mad. <laughs> Joe, son, you, I live in New York City. I don't have a basement. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes on you when it comes up in your sewer system in the freaking streets. Listen to a bowl. It already smells oh, like shit here. Outside. Nice try. <laughs> I was about to say this. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's why well, I don't know why y'all go outside. It's gross out there. There's, there's, na there's icebergs out there and like Greasebergs. grease and rats and all sorts of nasty stuff. But if I stay Oh, I like seeing the rats in the subway. They're so cute. I don't have um, Rats are kind. I, they're, just, they're just trying to get a pizza. I have seen rats the size of small house cats chewing on tampons. Okay, can we not? Blech. You're welcome. Ugh. Fair. Fucking we deserve that. That's not a joke, by the way. I oh, wish I believe I was you. Joking. I gotta use both Wait, is he supposed to be making? Burgers out of the oh, I thought you were going to have a follow-up question to my rat statement. Okay. Oh, no. Honestly. What was your question? <laughs> He's making burgers out of the already cooked meat? It, yes. It's uh -huh. already cooked. I and just then we're realized turn that. that into what a burger, the fuck? Which is not the process you would do when using breadcrumbs. Like, you put it in the raw meat, and then, you, right. you know what I mean? Like, that's how you would mix it. Same way you do a meatloaf, right? So mm -hmm. well, have, that's I another have, thing. I never seen it done for burgers. But yes, you do it raw. Pause. Yeah. I've seen but people have, do it with burgers. Don't sorry. you do the pause. That's not you better say raw and with your whole chest, bitch. You say with your chest. I Nova have, likes it raw. She does. Um, whoa, sorry. AO pause. Um, no, so I have you mean I should flush all my oil into my septic system? I have I have assisted Breathe. in cultivating this maiden community. I've done this to myself. Breathe. I have it's done okay. this to myself. You it's all okay. hate me. Okay, that's fine. It could oh. be worse. You could be Perry. That's true. Oh, that is. You could be Perry. No, they, yeah. you at are, least we haven't right. driven you to that point. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. no, absolutely not. I already told y'all I appreciate when you troll me and give me shit. It's good times. Keeps you on your toes. Yeah, sure. That's what I sure. that's what I tell my husband about why I bust his balls. You ball buster. That's me. I can I oh, ask a question? God. Why doesn't he just use a spoon and mix it? Yeah, like um, I don't want to touch. We don't do that here. We don't oh, do that. I don't, just, I don't do that. <sighs> and uh, I like that. Oops, uh, like, I'm okay with getting my hands dirty when like, necessary when it comes to cooking, but like, there are utensils for a reason. It is mostly the right way to go. Oh, God, yeah. not the garlic. Uh, backwards? What? This is backwards. We're gonna this take is the and garlic so fucked. We're going to go real easy on the garlic powder. We're gonna oh, okay. go oh, easy sure. on the gar of uh, sure. Only sure. half a fucking bottle this like, time. I think the corn biscuits is enough seasoning. Oh, yeah, <laughs> seriously. Yeah. Whoa, what are we doing? What's happening? Okay, we're doing something. Okay. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna put a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit. I actually. What? What? We will put a little bit more, but sometimes you know, me and my partner. Are you gonna mix it? it? Can't have too much garlic. She can't have too much garlic, Mango? Mm. How many times have we watched this man dump a whole container? Well, it's never see, enough um, garlic. Uh -huh. it's never enough garlic. Never enough you garlic. gotta just let him. How do else the are you process? supposed to keep the vampires away? Like you want him, you want this man to get attacked by vampires while he's asleep? <laughs> What yeah, Vaughn could come you? into his bedroom, suck his blood in the middle of the night. Yeah, yeah. I'm, like, I'm you, so sorry. I'm you're so a sorry. horrible person. I am a horrible person. You are yeah. not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I need to change my name back to Fat and Cunty. What is like mm. <laughs> yeah. 
That could be an annual like thing. Time. Honestly, that I, really just sounds like a fun time. Somebody's like, oh, I have a fat cunt. I'm like, and oh, I'm, it's fluffy? Great. Like, Let and me just, see it. And I'm just <laughs> mad that the person that called me that originally is is who he is, but then I rate Alex called me it, and it made me very happy about life, and it's fine. So, you know, balance. <laughs> <laughs> The man in the attic is the one that originally called me fat and cunty. So. <laughs> attic boy. And onion, we're gonna throw oh god! Onion powder oh god! I'm a little doing a little bit more onion powder than the garlic powder. But... Um, you think? mango question because I don't. I'm not a expert in the cooking realm. When yes. you have garlic and onion powder, there's a lot of sodiums in it, right? Uh, no, actually, there's not. Um, oh, okay. Thank so, you. There's. There's salt. a lot it's of sodium salt. in the yeah. garlic salt and the okay. garlic uh. and the onion salt, but he's specifically using the powders, which don't have a lot of sodium. However, comma space, one of those McCormick jars of onion powder is uh. the equivalent of thirty small onions. So if he dumps an entire yeah. thing in there, it's thirty it's like small onions. A lot of concentrated onion slash garlic. A lot. Uh. Okay. Onion powder doesn't have the same <gasps> Oh! That's God like... damn. Then they're beautiful. Uh huh. Sure. Sure. That's a lot of things. Can he at least I mix it? Can he just mix it? it? He okay, will. With his hands again. We're back in oh there with the hands. God. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I use the hands. Uh, Alibus, you are correct. Anyway, it is more fun. Like oh, God. Part, okay. Part Okay. It was just a mouth for enough. I need right. a minute. I <laughs> <laughs> we are using the paws. Right. This what what does this look like to you? Shit. Is it just a, just enough for this? Not too much. You don't want too much onion either, but it's you don't want too much <laughs> onion. A whole bottle later. <laughs> You don't want to overdo it, okay? No, of course not. <laughs> just one it. bottle. That's yeah, it. I just... We're spreading it all around. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Make Spreading sure something. Your pan Only too. reminder, this is supposed to be pizza burgers. Right. Like, the burger... <laughs> this this should have been done before it was put. I, I have made cheeseburger casserole, because I am I do keto low-carb. Don't judge me. Yeah. But this doesn't make any sense to me. No, these are supposed to be burgers. This is not a casserole. These are supposed to be burgers. Uh huh. That's yeah. why he sliced the cheese that way, so they would fit on the burgers. Now, if he said burger casserole, I could kind of follow him based on Maybe, the previous yeah. statement I made. Mm -hmm. But this doesn't make any sense. Lizard, Roll up your sleeves. The exact same joke that you made on your stream when we watched this. Oh, are we recycling jokes? Hmm? Hmm? New material if you're coming into our chat. Thank you very much. Usually I spread. Oh, side note, because Miss Parker is our resident um, domestic goddess, she had mm -hmm. to bounce because she's helping the husband do stuff and things. With some of this. It's a lie. Her grub hub king. Oh. <laughs> She's gotta go pretend. I'm not gonna lie, I might just stop here. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold up! Wait a minute. Okay, first of all, okay, trash has a little bit of an excuse. You were doing stuff in things, but I don't have no heat in my house, and I still made my dinner. Maybe I spray this pan. Mm. But it should, it should be okay. Getting Grubhub. What is this? Mm -hmm. I mean, if it's a really good local place that you got off Grubhub, then like, oh, that's I'm true. Behind that. Oh yeah, like. I live in Astoria. We have the best food in the city, man. Like, Ooh. Fucking, oh, I just got. Uh, yeah. Do. See. Uh -huh. Yep. Okay. Can but, everything. Can I convince? Yep. Can I convince you, New York people, to go to that um, that Tim Burton place I was telling you all about? In Where, NYC. What is, yeah. I mean, anything Tim Burton, I'm in. So. Well, there's that place I gotta send you, and then the cauldron where you can make your own quote unquote in. potions, which is alcoholic drinks, witchy vibes, and you can set shit on fire. I'm just saying. I wanna go set shit on fire. Let's I'm go. in. Oh, it's good shit. And you can make the the dr one drink I made is bubbly. It's not really gonna mm. stick anywhere with this because you got your meat. It's it's already kind of cooked. And 
we're doing. It's already you know, fully cooked. You fully cook cooked that meat. In a pot. <laughs> and then you rinsed it. <laughs> and dumped all the grease down the drain and caused me to have a eye twitch. Take these. Oh, God. Oh, I forgot the cheese exists. Like, I forgot the cheese is there. <laughs> you still gotta see what he does with this. This is terrible. And uh, we're going to line them up. Oh, no. Oh. <sighs> you know what's terrible? I have a confession. Mango didn't send me this. No. I found it and messaged <gasps> Mango and said, have we watched this one yet? <laughs> I said not on Maidens, no. So I've you did this, this to yourself? Yeah. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. she I sure did. did. I, did. I I let her find this one on her own is this, because this one's a gem. Does this count as masochism? <laughs> I, I think sure. it does. Yeah, I would say so. I, I think it's ironic that some of those cheese slices look like little tombstones. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't draw a little little skull and crossbones with ketchup. <laughs> Just ripperoni. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, Sydney, you can't no, no. No, we are not no, together. We're in this together, baby. We doing it, and I'm secretly still twitching. It's all right. You're good. We got this. I'm gonna cut this in half. We can make it. I don't I know if I can. Yeah, I was doing this like you can. I mean, uh, I want a divorce. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you want a divorce now? <laughs> After first all you went through. I mean, the state of the kitchen would have done it for me, but first I mean, of all. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who are you getting divorced from? First the fuck all. <laughs> Whoever's feeding me this crap. <laughs> I, thought you, oh, I thought you were divorcing Miss Parker and BGTV and Mr. Parker and Yato. I don't know. Just, I just, I'm just family in general. Divorce, yeah. <laughs> Arc wait, wait, wait. There's no work. pepperoni. There's no pepperoni. You're waiting for it. It's never going to come. Actually, like... The real question here is, figure out what makes this pizza in any way, shape, or form. Again, yeah, I've oh, seen burger. zero pizza ingredients here. I, because he said we had pizza burgers in school. Right. I don't remember that. And I was definitely a fat Me, kid. Yeah. I don't yeah, remember. <laughs> I don't remember pizza well, burgers. This game school. here, we're gonna line the whole thing, you know, kind of distribute all of the top evenly. Also, he went to school in Wisconsin, really, that's why. He's really, huh? really good at foiling the pans, and I don't know why he's so good at using foil and like getting it perfect every time. But oh, oh my god! Yep. <laughs> also, note that that uh, oven temperature knob is not the same as any of the other knobs, and there's no numbers on it. So he's just fucking guessing. Yeah, he's, he's taking a wild guess. There's no numbers. There's nothing on I did his this knobs. Oh, that's so upsetting. I did, myself. I did this to myself. I did this to myself. As a baker, that's I'm very upset. Oh, I can't yeah. imagine not knowing what fucking temperature the oven's at. That's yeah, so distressing. Okay, I don't, I don't know how to do polls on here, but I want to ask. Are you going to eat a meal from asshole cooking? Cobes... Or Dave. Tobes. Oh, oh wait, wait. Let, sorry, let me edit my my question. And you have to eat the meal with them. Oh, on God, this Cobes. guy. Cobes. <laughs> I say Cobes. I think Cobes will be a good time, as long as I can like, drink at the same time. Well, Cobes will be offering you a <sighs> beer. Like, every time he does something in the kitchen, he's going to be like, you want a beer? There's beer. Want to drink? Beer. Yeah, but think about and, it. You have to eat it at his house, where he's he spits on the nah, ground, and he no, spills food uh, he everywhere and shit. Like, I wouldn't want to sit actually. down. Cobes doesn't spit on the floor anymore, because he moved into the new place. Uh, he keeps it very clean. Oh, um, He's good really good about keeping his space <sighs> clean. <sighs> Um, his stove top is immaculate, but that's because he uses like a plug and electric griddle to cook on. Like he takes care of his shit currently. Uh, yeah. he's also slowing down on the drinking. So like, look, I will take the horrible pan stuff just because I trust Cobes to not try anything fishy with me. I don't trust Dave and asshole cooking will probably cause my insides to deteriorate. Yeah. Because of yeah. the uh, the 
onion and garlic. Lizard, that was the old place, not the new place. Spilled what for? Sir Stroming. Oh, uh, God. Hi, I'm stupid. What is that? That's fish. That's, oh, that's, thank you. It's, it's like it's, rotten fish. Yeah. It's very rotten um, fish. Sydney. From s some Scandinavian country. Sydney. Um, no. That was not an option. <laughs> you have A, B, or C. Oh, I'm with Sydney. I need you it. have asshole cooking, you have Cobes, you have Dave, and you have to have the meal with them in their home. I'm, I'm oh. still sticking with this guy because Dave would, if I had to eat with Dave, it would make me want to kill myself, and I just don't trust. Cobes' food is just. I mean, oh. I'd probably rock with Dave, though, because then I can huh. argue with him. And I like arguing. Y'all. Yo, yeah, what, are we allowed to punch Archer them in the face? Gave us a gift. <gasps> I like gifts. <laughs> Sorry, that was okay. <laughs> no, so are you so sending me this? We, What's happening? I'm gonna put it in the private chat for you. The very last uh -huh. link that I put in here. This is less than six minutes old. This is fresh milk from one of our favorite people. It is a Ooh. gift from Miss Parker to Do us. We need to quit this. Are we finished? Let's go this ahead part? and quit this. Fuck that. Oh. It's terrible, okay. you guys. Let's wait. Wait. Let's just wait. Wait. Just yeah, skip to the end. Yeah, I want to see. Oh, oh, okay. This isn't a burger. He said yeah, burger. burger. Am I out of my mind? It looks like a chopped okay, cheese. Okay, so when I... Oh, God, you and your chopped cheese. So when I... Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Squirrel. So, like. um, so when I have made my cheeseburger casserole, again, I do keto low carb, it comes out like almost kind of like a meatloaf when you slice it. This just looks like vomit on a plate. It is vomit on a plate. Okay, great. I don't. We can talk over. He's low. I don't. Uh, All right. Um, oh no. Oh no. Oh, yeah. No, he no, sets two no, plates because, no. you know, he has a partner that he eats this food too. She eats Look, everything that he makes. I. Oh, I, I, okay, I, I, I gotta go. I gotta, I gotta, okay, all right. Okay, so we got fresh milk I did that to from Miss Parker. This will make okay, you guys wait, wait. very happy. It's the very last so you, link that I put. Yeah, you do oh, the yes. thin while I pull so, up the thin. You hit that link to the Google Doc. You pick out one of the uh, organizations there. It is for... Indigenous peoples and Pacific Asian Islanders, you donate. You take a screenshot of the receipt. You black out your personal information because we don't need to know that shit. We just need to know the organization and the dollar amount that you donated. You send said receipt to postaliguana at gmail.com. Once we reach the $2,000 goal, which we have until January 31st, technically it's midnight Eastern Standard Time, the 1st of February, but semantics, we will eat. A Cobes Chimichanga Burger. For every $150 donated directly to one of the charities at one time, we will eat an egg hard-boiled in Code Red Mountain Dew. We currently owe four eggs. We did not put a cap on that shit because we are dumb. Torture us for the good of other people. Thank you. End scene. I am terrified of this... It's brand new. It's brand new. This is from. It's the best link. Okay. This is from. Y'all are getting me hype. Oh no. Okay. Y'all are gonna be so happy. All right. With who it is. Okay. All right. Y'all ready? Oh, it's Tony God. Chase. <laughs> the government man. <sighs> okay. Brand new. Fresh milk for us, all right. courtesy of Miss Parker. We love you, Miss Parker. Okay, all right. Well, we're just I... see. By the time you see this tomorrow on Geek Room, it's going to be old news, and it's because yeah. you came <gasps> here to support us. Look at us so... go! Oh, this is exciting. Okay, fucking all right, breaking Tony. news. Oh, this guy's I... still butt fuck crazy. Whoop, whoop. I need to say hey. this. I just want to <laughs> say this. This is a cow that we look from the fence. Yes. We do not touch. Nope. We do not throw things. Uh, we do nope. not enter the pasture. No. We nope. observe from the fence line. Okay. I just felt like I had to put that disclaimer yes. in. We, we yeah. need that disclaimer. For this is an untouchable. Know. This is a Tony, Chase. Tony Chase. Uh, the 
government man has been lasering his teeth away. They have been stealing inches from his penis. They have been uh, taking his family and his semen and his airport inches and all did the they stuff kill that he his owns. parents? Yes, I'm pretty sure they did kill his parents, if I remember the lore correctly. So yeah, but this is fresh okay. and brand new. Crimes and abuses of illegal government. Okay. How are you guys doing? This is very important in reference to that satellite man and his government people playing these games with their satellite. He's got a very busy background like me. Satellite <laughs> yeah. me. And like now, that satellite man, I'm being honest. It's twelve no, it's eleven forty one PM and that satellite man had just choked me. Satellite man choked him. All right. I can see the handprints. Is yeah. this like alien alien probing? What are we doing? And is that honest, a menorah? Yes, it is. Yeah, that's a that's a menorah. That's a menorah. Yeah. Oh. He said that was like music to his ears of him choking Americans. And then he said something like that made room for his race to eat. The lizard people. <laughs> and to steal food from Americans or something. Oh, or something. Down here. Watch okay. out for hey, something. We communicate. We're, st we're choking and stealing food from. I America. like the Jason mask back there too. He's yes. got a whole lot. We got Bed Bath and Beyond. We got Best Buy. Did some shit like that. Men's Men's Health in the background. There's a Domino sugar bag <laughs> hanging up on the wall back there. Right yep, I see Wilson. that. I also Wilson, like the Santa ho ho ho. Yeah. <laughs> And there's also a book. I think it's right behind the um, menorah. And God help me, I can't remember what it is. But I looked it up and I found it on Amazon. And it was as it's weird a, as you would expect. It, it's a it's a weird like sexual thing for people that believe in yeah. weird shit. Oh, I thought this was yeah, Men's Health it was... magazine. Oh no, <laughs> no, the, no, the other book is, right it's it. to the left of that. Yeah. Oh, it's oh, I sexual. See. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because I got a good portion of the title one time, and I was like, I gotta find out what that is. Oh boy! Man, yep. he's trying to murder off Americans to steal the food supply in America, I guess is what they're trying to do, and they're trying to steal people's houses with their satellites. <laughs> trying to steal people's houses with the satellites. So you know that needs to be investigated. Whoever that satellite controller is. Uh huh. I'm not making this shit up, you know. Uh -huh. I was trained in satellite you. technology and, and uh, certain Oh, he was trained in satellite technology. I didn't know that yeah. part. Things, you know. So this government man thinks that him choking people, and he has communicated before about Americans he claimed was taking food off his family's plate. A satellite man had communicated that for years. Saying that he thought Americans was taking food off their plate. Now, U.S. government and the Treasury would know who the fuck that man is. The it's Supreme Gold Court. Man. Know who the I <laughs> that man is. See, you don't seem to understand. The Supreme Court and the Treasury has I ways of listening uh, in the country to pick up those types of satellite transmissions. So when they try to play stupid, or they don't know when somebody's playing stupid, or somebody doesn't know some of the shit that these satellite controllers and whatever branch of government says these things. This is America. It's not the country that these people came from that are trying to steal food in America. They're trying to steal the food industry. They're trying to steal the farms. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, question. So the satellite man is a diff from a different country yep. choking him, stealing America's food. Yes. And the government and the treasury knows who it is. Did I get that? Am I? Yeah, am I following? That's where along? we're at. Okay, great. Okay. Uh, uh, trying to if, if if any of this at any time starts making sense to any of you in the audience, go take your meds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, public service announcement from Maidens. Um, drink your water, take your meds, and sleep. Operations. Yes. These guys and also eat food. Met people yes. with their own person, but not food from asshole cooking. Nators. right? And if they're using government titles or government position in American government, which obviously some of them are, that is treason. Oh, treason! Holy shit! Now these people are violating the Constitution of America. 
Uh-huh. And they're violating land laws and ownership laws. Well, I mean, if they're also stealing food from your house, that seems like breaking and entering. Yeah. And that's what everybody always feared about dirty government. Everybody always feared yeah. that some government man or some person would get into government and they would try to murder off Americans to steal their land. That's why in reference to the inauguration and in reference to guidelines of the laws that govern over government, there is laws that say that if the government conspires against landowners in America uh -huh. with their titles or their positions in government, uh -huh. they have to get yeah. ordered into court for their crime, oh. their attempts, or their plotting, or their illegal hidden agendas. Okay. And there is Supreme Court laws about that. But that needs to be addressed in the media, too. Um, yeah. Yeah. That was... Hey guys, no, that was... Uh, <laughs> Tony Chase always... I, I always am lost when I listen to him. So, so all I, like, I want to know is... Good. Is it this government man's fault that eggs are so goddamn expensive? Yes, I believe <laughs> Or man. the fact that I can never find eggs. <laughs> yeah, oh, I blame government man. It's the it's yeah. only yeah. answer. That cocksucker. I knew it. it. Might be the government man. Did you know that there's been an increase on the border of people uh, smuggling eggs in? Really? Huh. Yeah. Uh, no. I knew that was a shortage, uh, the border but I mean the Border Patrol has seen an increase in people trying to smuggle eggs across the border. Seems like high risk, low reward, but go off, yeah. I guess. I mean, go all they're going to do guess. all they're going to do is take away the eggs what? and like let you through like it's so well, and it's just like you're make. you're stealthily trying to get across the border. You're doing some illegal ass shit and you choose to bring like one of the most breakable things on the planet. Like not not the oh, best no, thing. See, the Border Patrol also deals with, you know, the people that go over the border and come back through that are, like, U.S. citizens. Like, you have to have your stuff checked by the Border Patrol. So, yeah. one of the things they do is check your vehicle. So, you have these Americans that will cross the border, go into Mexico, buy eggs, and try and smuggle them back into the U.S. It's a whole thing. That's... <laughs> it's a I whole... feel like the gas money you would spend would not make it worth it. I don't know. Right? That's like a five-minute drive. Well, um, y'all, it was... Oh. <laughs> I'm just going to give a little egg fun fact. If you give Please. a baby an egg, they won't break the egg. You know, toddlers are reckless. They'll break everything. But if you give them well, an egg, Well, dogs are the same it. way. Yeah. Yeah. Really? I feel like my dog would break it. I would have never yeah, like, If you like put it in egg. their mouth, they'll be gentle with it. Like, they won't bite down That's... on it for the most part. Yeah, they, like, cradle it in their mouth. No, like, There's a bunch of, like, me. TikToks about it. Yeah. Oh, God. That's what I, I don't want to do. I don't want to test it with my dogs because my older one would probably be okay, but the younger one would be like, oh, what's this? Crunch. And oh, God. Oh, God. Well, they, and some... they can eat raw eggs, though, so it's okay. Yeah, oh, it's, it's totally like, fine. It just would make a mess. It'll make a mess, but yeah. See, I have hardwood, so I feel like I want to try it now. If I do, I'll record it and I'll report back to y'all on the Discord. Yes, please report back to the Discord. <laughs> <laughs> She's right, super cute. It's, so it's it's been <clears throat> fun. Thank you all for coming. Uh, like, share, all that fun shit. And I thought we would end on something that uh, I love. Uh, and, yes, um, this, we're gonna, this is good too. You know, I just feel like oh, we need a yes. little feel good at the end. <laughs> Perfect song. I'm just saying, you know. We could talk over it. It's totally fine. Look at these guys. Look at them go. We did Beautiful. just see the Jason mask, because this is a good segue. Yeah, I, I just felt like, you know, sometimes I'm smart and I think of those things. <laughs> I say, you are <laughs> fire with gas and a light. The lighter. When I say I'll kill you that I'm always amazed at how creative these guys are. They're so good. They do a great job. I still say this is slightly better than the singing floating rat. <laughs> Look, don't you insult that rat.
Listen, it it always amazes me that we find the the spinning rat and the spinning fish for like ten hours. Hey, hey I found what? that spinning fish over the. Uh, oh, which song was it? Not the one that Anna does, because Anna's is a high quality fish. Mine is not. <laughs> 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 I'm mad that there's a distinction. <laughs> they even have the white suits. It kills me. <laughs> Hell yeah. Get it, Michael. <laughs> I like how all the maidens are singing right now. (laughs) Listen, I fucking love the Backstreet Boys. Listen, yeah, same. A little sad that one of them's uh, done bad things. Uh, I know, and he's my favorite one, and I'm so fucking upset. I just, I want to say allegedly for now, Never but says. subject. Oh, allegedly yeah. does work for that. However, comma space, he did oh. a lot of fucked yeah. up shit in terms of his family, like, yes. yeah. before that. So we can still say that he's a piece of shit. That's right. Yeah. So he's a piece of shit that has also allegedly done other terrible things. Yeah, it's just bad news bears. It's a way that you Damn, hillbilly. Enough of that crap. <laughs> Why is this my favorite part? That's bullshit. Jason, Michael, bring it back, bitch. No matter the distance, <laughs> I want to know that I can guarantee. I say you are fine. This is so hilariously dramatic. <laughs> Do you all know the piece of trivia about Michael Myers' mask and what celebrity it is? No. Mm-mm. So, okay. So there's, um, they had a surplus of masks one year and they needed something for this movie. And so they ended up making a, a horror mask out of it. And the celebrity is William Shatner. Oh, oh, interesting. Shit. Yep, you can kind of yeah. see it when you look at it, but yeah, that was originally a William Shatner mask, and they used it to make Michael Myers' mask, and now huh. it's like a huge We're, thing. Yeah. Learn something new every day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. Just the harmonizing. Oh, beautiful. Imagine you're getting asked to be an extra in this music video. Hi, we would like you to be in our video where we're gonna dress up like, uh, you know, horror horror characters, and y'all are gonna be fans. Listen, I have done some weird shit for money since I've moved to New York. I have done some weird fucking acting gigs since I got here. So I'd be like, uh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I probably it's not, not the weirdest thing I've done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 50 bucks, 50 bucks on a lot of can eat craft table? Yeah, all right. <laughs> oh, get it. Mm. The BGTV. Just incredible. Listen, BGTV. <laughs> listen. I, yeah, listen. you shut your whore mouth over there. Oh, oh, well. <laughs> uh, thank y'all for coming. 
Thank you, <laughs> lovely ladies, who joined me on panel tonight. And Thank we will see you guys hopefully in uh, two weeks. All right. Ready? Video. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha.